Hey everybody, Wendy here from Buck's Happy Goat Farm. And um, I just wanted to put together a little video about using your Instapot for um, boiling or steaming fresh eggs. This time of year, everybody's getting their chicks and they're getting all excited. Uh, um, and uh, so shortly after that, when they start laying, they discover that it's very difficult to peel the shells away from those very fresh eggs. So first thing I do is if you're anything like us, um, we don't clean the bloom off. Um, we leave the eggs on the counter until we're ready to use them. Uh, then we wash them off. Uh, eggs don't last that long in our house. Uh, these were all from yesterday. So anyway, we just rinse them off and we're good to go. First thing you've got to do is with your Instapot, um, I think this is a five quart, uh, you're going to insert your little razor trivet thingy. So just drop that in there. And then you're going to add a cup of water. Uh, and this is what's going to allow your eggs to steam. And then um, just put them in there. Uh, it doesn't matter how many you put in here. I have put anywhere from six to two dozen almost. Well, maybe about 18, but it doesn't matter. So there's no rhyme or reason. With the Instapot, you don't need to buy one of those egg um, accessories. It's, it's really not necessary. So anyway, so you wanna go ahead and put those in there. And then make sure that you have got your vent uh, sent to, set to sealing. And um, this is all natural. I am so not even going to edit this video. So if there's any bloopers on here, oh well. Um, okay, so I'm going to lock it. And you're going to use your egg setting or you can, I guess, use your manual. Uh, I like to do five minutes. Um, this makes it 15 minutes from start to finish. Uh, five minutes on normal is what I'm looking for for, um, you know, hard boiled eggs so that I can use them in salads and sandwiches and stuff. So uh, it's gonna take five minutes, about five minutes to rise to temperature or to manufacture that steam, get that pressure rised uh, up, whatever. And then it's going to count down for the five minutes for the cook time after it's gotten enough pressure. And then I like to let it uh, manually, or just nat not manually, but uh, naturally release for about five minutes. And then after that is when I will go ahead and, you know, flip my little vent thingy. Anyway, uh, I will come back to this. I've got, <laughs> I got a new baby coat that mama passed away. So I have to go and um, milk her. Anyway, that's how you make eggs. And I so said that wrong too, didn't I? I have to go feed a baby goat who has no mama. Okay, so my eggs are done. I did let it go a little bit over than the five minutes on the natural release just because, oh, I went to go feed that baby goat some milk and um, the buck was a total a-hole. Um, so I had to hold him by the scruff the entire time. Uh, so, <laughs> but I did not get head-butted because I grabbed him by the scruff. Anyway, life on a farm, I guess, right? So you're just going to go ahead and take these out and put them in your ice bath. And that's going to stop your cooking. I like to let mine sit in there a little while um, just to cool off. And then uh, I, sometimes I, want, I, I don't let them in there or sometimes I let them sit just for a few minutes because I want to serve them hot. Um, but for this... I'm going to make some salad out of them, so I'm going to let them cool off for a while. Okay, so the eggs are cool to the touch. They're ready to be handled, and let's go ahead and crack one open. Let's try this big mamma jamma. Give it a crack, and you'll have to bear with me. I'm doing this with one hand on the phone. Oh, look at that, ladies. Farm fresh egg. Not even a day old. And sorry, one handed makes it a, turn into a few more pieces than I normally do. But here you go farm fresh egg. 
day old. Look at that. Shell came right off. Let me do another one. Let's do you. One handed. Ooh, look at that. Like nothing. Look at Falls right out. A little piece right here, but it just wipes away. Oh, wait, there's one from the other egg. So, just like that, they are done. I didn't use any vinegar, no salt, no poking the top of it. Um, easy peasy. Oh, and for those of you wondering if they would be done in that amount of time or if they would be overdone, um, you can see right there, they look pretty good for what I want, which is the salad. Um, you can adjust your time uh, for less time um, if you want them to be soft or medium boiled. Um, and you've got to remember for this one, I actually let it go over on the natural release just because that darn goat was... Uh, after me anyway so i hope you enjoyed this and that it will um, give you an idea of one of the ways that you can overcome them tough eggshells and the uh i don't know a, a good way to do it now uh, there's other steamers out there my niece lisa has a just a little steamer it holds like six eggs and uh, it's got a little dome top. That one works just as well as the Instapot, but I use my Instapot all the time. Um, as you can tell, I've got that quinoa going right now. Um, anyway, so enjoy.